So I say Advent, you say what? Advent. I say prepare. prepare. Uh, the world's <laughs> The world kind of laughs at Advent, doesn't it? It says, question mark, what is Advent? Yeah, what, I say Advent, you say. I think of the threefold coming of Christ. So we see in Advent season, it's a preparation for his coming at the end of time. And then it's also a super special preparation for his coming on Christmas Day. And the best way to prepare for the, both these, these moments is preparing to receive him during Mass in yeah. the Eucharist. Yeah. So when I think of Advent, I like to think of these three preparations. So we got the spiritual understanding and the worldly understanding, right? Yeah. I, mean, I, I think you're right. I mean, this is obviously what we want to get to. Like Advent really does become supposed to be a season of preparing our hearts, not just for the celebration of Christmas, certainly looking forward to the end of the, the, end of the world, huh, with the Lord coming back. But even now, the Lord wants to come into my life now. But the world doesn't have a clue what to do in this season. It's just shop, yeah, right? Yeah. The, the world is so caught up in, in the three-month preparation almost for December 25th, the date. But, you know, we in the church, we're saying prepare for the coming of Christ. And so we're completely lost in the world. Sometimes. I know this because you told me this the other day, but this is your favorite time of year, my favorite time of year as well. I mean, Advent is, is an extraordinary season, which is wasted, I think, for almost all of us. Like, we just don't know what to do. It's not bad will. It's not bad intention many people just have never been taught how to use this season. So what advice would you give to people who are watching right now? Like, how can they get the most out of these days doing something other than just crossing names off lists that I've got to give for that person? I would say to kind of acknowledge and recognize um, certain spiritual chores that are going to be part of your daily routine during the season of Advent. It's great preparation for welcoming Christ on Christmas Day. Probably the most important spiritual chore is that life of prayer. And it's something that um, here at Our Lady of Good Counsel we've been learning about and we've been growing about that it's not a matter of just saying Our Fathers and Hail Marys, but it's that loving conversation with our Lord, welcoming in to all aspects of our life, especially those aspects of our life that we're not too proud of. And so it's really kind of doing a, a spiritual inventory and really being faithful to those conversations with our Lord each and every day and throughout every day. So prayer, big way that we, we really use this season. So if we're not in the habit of praying in a committed amount of time right now, we might want to try to do that. Like try 15 minutes. If you're already doing 15, try a half hour. Give the Lord more. Huh? What would be the, what's one thing you'd say to folks that they could really like milk yeah. this season. I think that this is really a, a season, going back into that secular theme and the religious theme, this is really a season for us from Advent until the days after Christmas for us to recognize in ourselves how much we really have mm -hmm. and how we can give back to those who don't have. And so this is an opportunity for us really just to, to look into specific organizations or charities or outreaches that we as, as Catholics those of us who know the Lord Jesus, how it is that he has given us so much, how we can give back to those who don't have. I think one of the things that I've done the last couple of years anyway that uh, has really been helpful for me, rather than give gifts to people who really don't need their gifts or my gifts to them, is to give a gift in their honor hmm. to a charity. Yeah. So just like you say, so um, I've been giving stuff down to some of the churches in Detroit. Um, I know this year for me, um, the one charity that's really on my mind or the cause that's on my mind is human trafficking. Hmm. Third largest criminal activity in the world my it's behind drug trade and the arms trade. So, um, you know, $30 billion, 30 million people today living in slavery. I, I want to do something on behalf of those that I love yeah. to help them. So what, what are some of the causes that you do? Well, first of all, before I even get to that cause, why don't we just eliminate giving each other gifts this year? And why don't the three of us just give gifts in, in each other's honor to our own causes? I think that would That's be a great good, idea. Yeah. I'm up for that. Um, my, my cause that I always support are the Missionaries of Charity down in Detroit. Uh, Mother Teresa of Calcutta's, St. Mother Teresa of Calcutta, uh, her order, she, uh, she has missionaries of charity here in Detroit. They're down on Cabot Street in Mexican Town. Uh, they take care of the poorest of the poor. They teach the children the faith and they, they take care of the poor. You got a favorite charity? Yeah, I would to? say probably a, a crisis pregnancy center or mm. some part of the pro-life movement, especially during the season of Advent, um, becoming a voice for the unborn child. It's a, a great time to show our solidarity to our brothers and sisters that dedicate their life reaching out to these mothers in troubled pregnancies. Yeah, I mean, 
don't don't get us wrong. I mean, gift giving is really important. We give gifts. To, it's a it's a way for us to say to people that we love you. Yeah. You know, it's a way to express our affection. It's a way to express our gratitude. By all means, we should be giving each other gifts. But most of us, like, we don't need another. I don't need another gift. I don't need another sweater. I don't you, need you, another. You need a new hat. <laughs> um, but other than that, we we don't need more stuff. But we're surrounded in this community. We're surrounded by people every day who are going to go to bed tonight wondering, how am I going to stay warm? Where am I going to get a meal? Where am I going to sleep? Yeah. And, and I've never asked those questions of myself, ever. I've never wondered, gosh, what am I going to eat? How am I going to eat? Or how am I going to stay warm? Yeah, how fortunate we are. So, uh, you know, from us to all of you, uh, as we prepare to celebrate the great gift of God becoming man, um, let's, let's milk the season best we can by praying hard. Let's do what we can to, you know, see who we can give to who's most in need. You know, like maybe that one cause that the Lord's really put on our hearts. And then just like God has been so generous with us, let's find a way to reach out and be generous to them, huh? Very Merry Christmas to, to all of you and all of your families, uh, wherever you will spend Christmas this, uh, this season. From Father John, Father Clements, and I, we wish you a, a very Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs>